Hello, this is Alex Case with my review of Codename Viper for the NES. Um, this game was put out by Capcom in 1990, um, like June, July, summer of 1990. came out around the same time as Super C, the sequel to Contra, which is why I'm reviewing this game, because in general, the, for, you put out a sequel for a game like Contra, which is considered one of the most legendary shooters in the history of shooterdom, um, anything that comes out around the same time is missing the same genre is going to generally be considered to be um, inferior, or at the very least, it's going to be heavily overlooked. So there's always the possibility of some gems getting hidden in there. But, so that's why I picked this one. The game has you playing as Agent Smith, no relation to the guy from The Matrix, um, who is a secret agent commando guy sent into South America to blow up various drug labs uh, the, uh, on the orders of his commanding officer, Commander Jones. Um, someone in the translating team must have been a fan of Alias Smith and Jones or whatever. Um, and it goes out at the time. And so, yeah, you just go around, they go through these various levels, attacking the buildings and compounds held by the evil drug cartel, um, killing all the bad guys in your way, rescuing all the hostages in your way, getting guns, ammunition, and then rescuing the commando who was sent in before you, who has the explosives you need to blow the place up. And that's pretty much it. As you go through the levels, you'll piece together pieces of a little document which will reveal the master plan of the uh, cartel and who the leader is, and then you go take him out. And it's meant to be a bit of a twist, but it's kind of a lame twist especially since Metal Gear had already come out at the time. I'm not going to spoil the twist, but if I mention that Metal Gear did it before this, I think you can figure out what I'm referring to. So anyway, the gameplay is sort of Contra-ish in that you run, you shoot, you run and jump some more. The difference is you can't shoot while you jump, and you can't shoot at an angle, which is a pain in the neck for several of the enemies. Also, there are no bosses in this game, which makes the game actually a little easier, well, uh, easier than Contra in that you don't have to work your way through the level, try to keep all your lives and your power-ups, and then survive the boss fight. But it still has, the game still has some difficulty to it, but it makes the levels kind of blur together a bit. Um, but actually, there is one boss fight at the end where you're fighting against the head of the cartel, and if it's a really short boss fight, though. Um, the basic gameplay, uh, the gameplay is solid. Um, the music, I haven't really paid much attention to the music. The level design, the level design stinks themselves pretty well. Um, there are some problems with particular levels. Um, the Mayan Temple, le Mayan Temple level, to be specific, where basically you die fairly, not die very quickly, but there are some fairly cheap deaths in there, in other areas around the game. Um, there's some problems with the jumping, into the jumping areas. You, it's not like major nasty jumping puzzle stuff or anything like that, but there are sections of the game where you have very small targets to jump on, and it's very easy to miss them, practically Mega Man jumping, unfortunately, without the high quality of Mega Man jumping. Um, and... Other than that, I mean, it's decent. It's not a horrible game. It's not as good as a super, a super C, as good as Contra, or any of the other games in that series. So, I mean, no wonder Super C outsold it, aside from just the merits of the uh, Contra, name, Contra brand, but also because Super C would have been a superior game than this. But otherwise, I mean, it's... It's decent. It's not terrible. I would not have anything to say against this game in terms of if someone were to pick it up, I wouldn't go, oh, no, no, buy it. It's, so you'll either like it or you don't. Um, I'd say it's worth giving a shot. The worst it'll do, it, I mean, the worst it'll do is go, in eh, it's boring. And that's, that's the worst possible problem with this game. So, this is Alex Case. I want to thank you for listening to this review. And stay tuned to the blog for future reviews and recaps.